on high You are the Lord Call him Spirit Spirit We welcome you Holy Ghost You are worthy of you are my, my praise We lift our hands and we seek Lift up your hands and just begin to bless the name of the Lord. Oh, bless his name, bless his name. Let it come out from the depth of your belly. Are you here or you're not here? Come on, bless his name. Jesus. Somebody bless him. There's no God. If he's worthy of your praise, let him know it. If he's worthy of your praise, let him know it. If he's worthy of your praise, let him know it. We bless your holy name, my Father. We bless your holy name, my Father. Spirit of God, come and have your way. Flow in this hot afternoon. Go ahead. Wherever you're watching from, I want you to type it there and say, I'm watching from Zambia. I'm watching from Gambia. I'm watching from Kenya. I'm watching from the UK. Come on, go ahead and just begin to place it there. Say, Lord, we worship you from the UK. We worship you from Canada, from Saskatoon, from Calgary. Go ahead and just type it there and say, I'm worshiping you from Abuja. I'm worshiping you from Kenya. I'm worshiping you, oh, from Burundi. Yes, go ahead and just begin to worship him. Come on, somebody lift up worship in this 12 noon. Eka para na makose tele bako yada ha Ila bako rana makose te yede de de Randa bako sa tele brahan de le boko she tele bo Somebody bless the name of the Lord You have come to the King of Zion You have come to the highest God You have come to the God that never fails, never lies He's a great God, He's a big God there's no one like him. No one like you. Jesus. No one like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no one. No one like you. Yes, no one like you. Somebody bless his name. There's no one like you. No one like you, my master, you're the God of everything, no one like you, no one like you, somebody worship him, there's no one like you, I don't know where you're worshiping from, go ahead and say there is no one like you, worship him from Calabar, there is no one like you, Worshipping from Saskatoon, no there's no one like you. Like you. Worshipping from there's wherever no like you. in all I the earth, there's no one like him. No one like there's you. no one like him. The hey, there's no one like him. You're the God, God of everything. No, no one, one like, like you. There's no one like Jehovah. You're not a man. You're not a man. You're the God who opens doors. You're the God who opens doors. No man can shut. You're not a man. You're not a man. Everything. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Hey, 
like Somebody you, tell him there's no one Thank like you. you. Jesus, no one like you, Jesus. That none can be compared to you. None can be compared to you, God. There's no one like him. No one like you, Jesus. Mightier than the mightiest no and greater than the greatest. Than the mightiest. He's a big God. Bigger than the great. Jesus is his name. Yes, Somebody lift him up. Lift him up. Eka para na makoso to lobo koshende he. Ela ba kora na makoso to liba kaya na ha. Mando lobo bobo shata le broto si akatala. Eke dele ba koso to rima kande broho to liba ha. Mando lobo koso to kopo koro bobo koso to liba ha. Manda la ba koso to riba kaya da ba hos. Shede le bo sinde ge bo koshata. Rakata la ba koso to riba kande broho to. Ela ba 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 se de de shande le boko suinda e rada ba ko shata le makora na makose te le boko sia ende le boko shete le boko sia tale rade de 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 boko shata la ba ha mante le boko shata la ba ko rada ba kate te le boko rande boko sia dada e shala ba ko se te le boko se te le mande le boko Somebody say, Lord, I worship you. There's no one like you. You know, something is happening already. Something is happening. There's an exchange going on. There's an exchange. There's an exchange. Ah, the Lord is exchanging your enemy, He's removing them. Yes, Jesus. He's unseating somebody yes, and putting Jesus. you in the seat. Yes, yes, yes. Oh Lord, we worship you. Daddy, we bless your holy name. Mandele boko shete le boko sete liya. Maregede karana makoso tolobu. Hey, somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Hey. And I want to welcome somebody to the Thursday midday prayer. I welcome you to this wonderful time. It's one of the times of the highest spiritual activities, and you know. Sometimes we don't realize it as Christians and so the unbelievers use it against us. This is the time that the sun is in the highest and this is the hour of prayer, 12 noon. Because the Bible says we will come to him in the evening, in the morning and in noon to pray and he said I will answer you. And when you come at this hour, so it's a Kairos time, it's an hour of spiritual activities. That is when Jesus was hung on the cross. Child of God is the hour that the enemy uses to kill the believers. This is the time that arrows fly. And if you can intercept those arrows, child of God, I read yesterday and I'm reading today again the book of 2 Samuel chapter 4 and I'll read from verse 5 and he reads he said then the sons of Rimon and the Briholites the Briholites sorry Rechab and Bana set out and came at about the heat of the day can you see the heat of the day to the house of Ishbosheth who was lying on his bed at noon Child of God, when you are lying on your bed at noon, when you are doing nothing at noon, even some of you now with me in prayer, you are relaxed. You are not supposed to be relaxed. Is somebody listening to me? Now when you are relaxed, see what happened. They say, and they came there all the way into the house as though to get wits. They will pretend that they are coming to do something else and they stabbed him in the stomach. Then Rechab and Bana, his brother, escaped. No enemy will escape. You did not hear me. I said no enemy will escape. Bring out your phone. Begin to share the broadcast. Go ahead and share. Share to your brother in, on Facebook. Share on um, Instagram. Go ahead and share it on um, YouTube. Yes, join in, join in, join in from wherever you are. Yes, bring out your phone. Bring out your phone and share. 
Go ahead and share it. As you have shared it, lift up your hands and say, Lord, I have come to hide under your shadow. I decree and declare that all the spiritual banters that are going on, I will not be a part of it in the name of Jesus. Is somebody speaking? Come on, open your mouth and begin to speak. And say, Lord, I will not be a part, a part of the wickedness of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any plan of the devil to take me out, Jehovah God, you will not allow it. In the name of Jesus, I will not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day, not by lying down on my bed. Is somebody listening to me? Somebody open your mouth now, open your mouth now. Wherever they have killed your vision, whether they have stabbed your vision, wherever they have stabbed your, your business, they have stabbed your finances, they have stabbed your health. Oh, Raka Taleba, they will not escape, they will not escape, they will not escape, it will not stand, it will not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice and begin to declare it. Rande Bokoshete, Rede Kasa Telebrahata, Ende Lebokosida Liga Bando Koshete, Rade Lebo Sokoto Riba Daha, Ende Lebokoshete, Rianda, Yege de Le Karina Mako Soto Libaha. Somebody, are you praying? Ela la Lege de Bokoshete, Rande Bokosate de Gadaya, Manto Lebokoshete. Lord God Almighty, I hide my sister, I hide my brother, I hide my son, I hide my daughter, I hide my husband, I hide my wife. Is somebody praying? This is the time to hide. I'm watching somebody from afar, and the Lord is saying, Hide. Oh, somebody cry out. Somebody cry out. This is your hour. Hey, don't allow the enemy. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. One of the things that the Lord said we should pray today. In fact, the major thing he told me while I was praying for this meeting, he said, pray for favor. Alleluia. Pray for favor. Alleluia. And he gave me a scripture in the book of Psalm, chapter 44, verse 3. I know you have heard it before, but I will read it again. He said, for they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword, nor did their own arm save them, but it was your right hand your arm and the light of your countenance is someone listening to me because you favor them hey jesus child of god i'm talking to some strange people here who are going to get that thing not by strength not by connection not by the hard work but child of god by the lord's countenance that will come upon you in this midday prayer it's going to be by his countenance. Is someone listen to me? And he will favor you. He will favor you. He will favor you. In your assignment, he will favor you. In the name of Jesus. In the things that you do, he will favor you. Somebody say favor. Ah, favor is coming as a shield on somebody. When they are discussing your matter, somebody's voice will come up for you. When they are discussing your matter because of favor, somebody will talk for you. Somebody will defend you. Somebody will fight for you. By favor in the name of Jesus. Lift up those hands and begin to thank him. Say, Father, it's because you favored me. It's favor that will even keep you alive. Favor. They will say, let us not kill this one. You remember the testimony of the boy from Calabar? 
He said they attacked all of them to kill them. But they looked at this one. They said, let's not kill this one first. And right in front of them, they killed another man, beheaded him, and kept his head to face them. Child of God, favor will make them skip you for trouble. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say favor. favor. Cover my siblings. Cover my, cover siblings. Cover my husband. Cover, cover my, my wife. Husband. Cover me. Cover my, cover my, cover my mother. mother. Cover my brother. Hey, your favor, Lord. That you will call on your favor. It is your favor. It is your favor that he let favor protect somebody. There's somebody you are on a journey. You are watching from a journey. Let favor begin to cover you in the mighty name of Jesus. When they are picking other people to punish, favor will not will cover you. They will not allow them to arrest you. Favor will not allow them to deal with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Child of God, I want you to know something. When the Lord's countenance is not shining on you, when the countenance of the Lord is not shining on you, when favor has been switched off in your life, there are some things that happen. Is somebody listening to me? Yes, there are some things that happen and I want to just tell you the things that happen when it's like God's countenance is covered from you. That's why you need God's countenance. He said, let his face shine upon your face. Amen. And let his countenance do you good. Amen. His countenance brings you favor. Amen. And somebody desire his countenance Amen. in this Thursday midday prayer. Oh, By his Father, countenance, you will not be stabbed to death. By his me. countenance, I'm telling you the truth, you will not suffer for what you don't know. By the Lord's countenance, your children will not be stabbed to death. In the name of Jesus Christ. By favor, they will not get access to kill you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, let your countenance come upon our family. Amen. Is somebody praying that prayer? Pray it and clap your hands. Let your countenance shine upon our family. Let your face shine upon us. That he favor us. That he favor us. That he favor us. By your favor, favor us. By your countenance, favor us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your countenance favor us. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now let me tell you, when the Lord's countenance is not on you, I'm going to say about 10 things that you suffer. Number one, demons will overcome you with ease. When the countenance of God is not upon you, you will just have a free flow of demons in your house, around you. Number two, nothing will go smoothly. Anywhere you go to, you just have hitches, hitches. Ah, success will be a bit far from you. To get to where you are supposed to get to, struggles. There's a particular person watching today. In your dream, you had a dream, you were on a journey. On that journey, it was difficult to get to your destination. Yes, it was difficult because the countenance of God was hidden from you. Number three, you will plant plenty but you will reap little oh somebody say mercy lord you will plant plenty and then you will reap little somebody say the mercy again the mercy. Yes. Yes. when the countenance of god is not upon you your whole life becomes a struggle everything when people are getting married it will be hard for you to get married when people are having children, it will be difficult. When people are doing their business, it's just difficult for you. When people are going to school, your mates have gone to school, finished. That's when you are writing jam. Oh, somebody say mercy. Mercy, Lord. Child of God, let 
Somebody say after me, say, my life will not become a struggle. My life will not become In the struggle. mighty name of Jesus. Now clap your hands Jesus. and begin to declare My life will not become a struggle. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, 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 child of God, when the countenance of God is not shining upon you, there will be what is known as a profitless labor. Profitless hard labor. That's why he said they did not get the land by their sword. It was not by the arm of their flesh. It was because of the countenance of God. Because the Lord favored them. Child of God, it will not be by your intelligence. It will not be by hard work. Amen. But God will favor you. Amen. Is anybody that needs favor, just lift yes. up your hands and begin to say, Lord, favor me. Lord, favor me. Favor me. me. Oh, shine your countenance on me and favor me. Countenance upon me. In Jesus name we are prayed. Child of God, do you know why you need to pray this prayer? Because when the countenance of God is not on you, the problems will remain the same even after prayers. You have prayed and the problems will still remain. Oh, there's somebody here. The Lord said, I should say to you that my countenance will take away that problem. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray one more time. Say, Daddy, shine your face upon me. Daddy, shine your shine face, face upon me. Shine in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, in Jesus name we are praying child of God another thing that shows when God's countenance is not on you when favor has been seized from you you know sometime in the realm of the spirit before I didn't used to believe that but in the realm of the spirit you see where they rob some people poo -poo, poo -poo. they rob you that poo -poo, and then things will begin to happen that's why when Zechariah was praying, the Bible says, he told them, he said, take away that filthy garment. The guy didn't even know he was wearing a filthy garment. What was supposed to be on his head was a crown. He was supposed to wear a crown. Sometimes you are carrying the blessing, yet you are not being favored. Child of God, it happened to Jacob. Jacob was carrying the blessing, but there was something about him when he wrestled with the angel. That's why there are some of you, this hot afternoon, you will wrestle. I don't like the way some people are just looking as if you came to watch a drama. Child of God, by the time he wrestled with that angel, the angel asked him, what is your name? There was a hindrance. There was something, and that name, it was his mother who gave him that name. Just called him a supplanter. Why? Because he came out holding his brother's um, um, leg. And he said, he's Jacob. And that name caused a lot of disfavor for him. He went to the house of um, his uncle. His uncle is supposed to treat him very well. But child of God, ah, he suffered in his uncle's house. His uncle demoted him ten times. Changing his wages, changing his wages. There are some of you, you are in the midst of plenty, but you are begging. You are in the midst of plenty, but they cannot help you. There's a particular person watching me today. They have told you, come today, come tomorrow, come today. And that person is your uncle. May the countenance of God shine upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. When the countenance of God shone upon Esther, child of God, she was favored. There was nothing the king could, to, could do. He did not call her for 30 days. He didn't call her for 30 days. It was not ordinary that he did not call her. There was something on Esther. The favor that took her into the palace could not keep her in the palace. There are some of you, the favor you received long time ago, it's not been able to carry you. And Esther came to a place like this to pray. And when she went, they just looked at her. The king just saw her because the countenance of God was upon her. The countenance of God was upon her. 
The countenance of God was upon her. A child of God. Nothing could stop the king from favoring her. There's somebody here. After this prayer, go back to that place. After this prayer, go back to the place where they said no to you. Child of God, when the countenance of God is not upon you, devourers are released upon your labor. That's why I said they did not get it by their labor. Devourers are released on your labor. On your own labor. Somebody say, God forbid it. God forbid. When devour when when the countenance of God is not upon you, the person will begin to be living on old and past achievements. That's what would have happened to Esther. Old and past achievements. Achievements that oh my god. They will now start talking about you. She was. They will talk about Esther and say, Esther was. Esther came in by favor. The king favored her amongst all the other people. But Esther will not be suffering in the house of the king. Because the king will not want to see her. Child of God, say mercy. mercy. Child of God, when the favor of God is not, when the countenance of God is not shining upon you, there will be no fresh fire in your spiritual life. You will be living on ashes, ashes. Somebody say mercy. mercy. Child of God, when the countenance of God is not upon you, your prayers become ordinary noise. You will just be praying, nothing is happening. Somebody say mercy. mercy. Oh, I don't like the way you are saying the mercy. mercy. Is somebody watching me, go ahead and share the broadcast again. Share the broadcast because we are about to pray for favor. When the countenance of God is not upon you, it's like your heavens are closed. And when your heavens are closed, when you are in the place of prayer, your mind will be wandering up and down. Like some people watching me now, you are sitting here praying, but your mind is everywhere. That means the countenance of God has left you. Somebody say mercy. Let my mind not wander. In the mighty name of Jesus. When the countenance of God is not upon you, child of God, even reading the Bible has become a routine. Hey! Your quiet time becomes dry. Somebody say mercy. mercy. When the countenance of God is not upon you, you, are, you find it easy to coexist with darkness. There's darkness around you and you are giving excuses. Say, the man was tired, that's why he did not give me. The man is not supposed to be tired. Even if he's tired, he will stand up and go and bring that thing for you is somebody listening to me yes i'm talking to somebody yes ah child of god when the countenance of god is not upon you yes your expectation will be cut off ah. you will be looking for your expectations with touch ah. You look for much investment, yet you will get little. You have leakage in your pocket. Ah! Because there are holes in your pocket. There will be satanic attack. Satanic dominion. On your business, satanic dominion. Some of you watching me, you know that there is, there is a satanic thing around your business, around your finances. There will be scarcity of testimonies. There will be lack of divine visions. Lack of dreams, lack of revelations. There will be chain problems. When you are solving this one, another one will come out. Problems will be coming, another one is going just like that. Oh! When the favor of God is not upon you, explain unexplainable hardship. A hardship that you cannot explain. Backwardness and re regression. Manipulation by evil powers. Delusion instead of reality. Darkness instead of light. Contempt instead of honor. War instead of peace. Hatred instead of love. Bondage instead of freedom. Sadness instead of joy. Frustration instead of fulfillment. Somebody shout mercy. Mercy. 
Shakaraba Kosotorobo, Le Prada Katsote Le Makonde Brahata. Come on, stand on your feet, everybody. Let's begin to pray. Le Sante Le Bokoshete Le Baha, E La Bakora Na Makosende Le Boho. Somebody begin to declare over your life. Say, my joy shall multiply. My joy shall multiply. And I will receive unlimited favor. Clap your hands and begin to declare it. My joy shall multiply. And I will receive unlimited favor. Unlimited favor. My joy shall multiply. And I will receive unlimited favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Then somebody, this prayer will not finish. You will receive that letter of congratulations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rekete poko shakataya. Mandele poko soto loboho. Shadele poko sete. Begin to say, nothing shall be impossible with me. Hey, nothing shall be impossible with me. Say it like you mean it. Shout it. Nothing shall be impossible with me through Christ Jesus. And through him I can do all things. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let your spirit lead me. Let your spirit shine upon me to unlimited success, to unlimited favor in this month, in the month to come, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say, let your spirit shine upon me. Let your spirit shine upon me. Let your spirit shine upon me. Let your favor reign in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me be at the right place at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to dismantle every opposition. Fighting against your favor. Carter, if somebody says Carter. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say I scatter. I scatter. I scatter. I scatter, I dismantle in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to declare those that have rejected me, they will open doors for me in the mighty name of Jesus. There's somebody who went for a visa and they wrote rejected, they are going to write accepted now in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say they will accept me in the mighty name of Jesus. Now begin to say no more rejection, no more rejection, no more rejection. No more rejection. No more rejection. I receive total favor, total victory, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say total victory, total victory, total favor, in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not by mind, it's not by power, it's by the favor of God, it's by the mercy of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say I'm protected by the countenance of God. The countenance of God cover me, the countenance of God keep me, the countenance of God shield me, the countenance of God keep me from the eyes of evil people. They will not see me. When they see me, they will not recognize me. They will not see my name for evil. In the name of Jesus, my name will be seen for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Is somebody praying at all? By favor, somebody is being healed. This is healing favor. Oh, somebody say favor. 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 Cover me. Favor. Cover, me. Favor. cover my children. Favor. Cover my children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and clap your hands and begin to declare it. Leke poko soto loko. Eshete le poko sete. Mande le poko soto. Oh, daddy, favor. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In the book of Exodus, we know the story. Exodus chapter 12, verse 36. The Bible says, And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Child of God, the Egyptians were their enemies, in case you don't know. The Egyptians were their enemies. The thing that you are looking for is in the hand of your enemy. That appointed appointment letter is in the hands of your enemies. I'm telling you, they are in the hands. There's somebody's husband. Your, his promotion letter is in the hands of his enemies. It's his enemies that will favor him. That's what the Lord said. He says it's his enemies that will favor him. You remember the testimony I shared about a man here? He said they, he didn't know who spoke on his behalf. And he was promoted. He started looking for the person. And he found out it was one of his boss that hated him. So he bought something to go and give the boss to tell him thank you. 
As he went, the boss said, please clear out of my way. They will hate you, but they will favor you. Oh, you don't understand. Ah! The Bible says, the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So that they lent unto them such things as they required. There's somebody you will go back to that place and ask of it. And they will give you as you required. Amen. And you will spoil the Egyptians. Amen. That land document is in the hands of the people that hate you. Amen. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> hey! You are prizing the house with a man that dislikes you. He hates your, your boldness. He just hates it. Oh, but the Egyptians had no choice but to favor them. Hey! Somebody lift up your right hand and say, Father! Father! Whatever is mine that is in the hands of the enemy, whatever is mine that is in the hands by your favor, let it be released. Clap your hands and begin to declare. By your favor, let it be released. It's divine favor. It's divine favor. It's divine favor. Shaka bene boko soto. Elege boko soto. Hey, hey. That friendly approval. That friendly regard shown towards me by my superior in the name of. Jesus, by the countenance of God, they will show me favor. By the countenance of God, they will love me. Whether they hate me, they will love me. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they don't care whether they hate me. In the name of Jesus, 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 in Favor that report will be changed Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. by the favor of God. Let that report be changed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, there is a time of favor. Yes, it wasn't me that planned this prayer meeting, this particular one. It was Elohim. I'm telling you the truth. And the Bible says in Isaiah 61 or so, verse 2. He said, it is the year of the Lord's favor. And he says, the time to favor her. Yes, the set time is now. I don't know who that person is. Let me see your hand. The set time to favor. The set time. Child of God, it's not all the time favor comes. There is a set time for favor. And do you know what? It is now. Amen. Say that he wear me the cloak of favor. Wear me the dress of favor. Wear me that dress of favor. That he favor me is my time. It's my time for favor. It's my time for favor. Somebody from your husband is time for favor. For your husband is time for favor. For your wife is time for favor. Let the favor of God sit upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my past mistake be written off in the name of Jesus. There's somebody watching me. It was your past mistake that brought you this favor. But today, Rateke Poko Shoto Soto, Elege de Bako Satalaba, Somebody scream and say, Thou favor of God! Thou favor of God! Come upon my life! Come upon my life! And displace people!
people for my sake. Displace people for in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name Clap your hands Jesus. and begin to pray. Thou favor of God. Thou favor of God that will make people to change their mind. Favor of God. Create strategic vacancy for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. my life. in the name of Jesus, in the name of every Jesus. generational if disfavor is cutting off. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that is favor me. In this whole afternoon, Lord, favor me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, the arrows that fly by day, the wind that blows by night, in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I receive total favor. I receive total, total victory. Total victory. Even before my enemies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will succeed. I will succeed. I will not fail. I will not fail. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. Father, by your blood. Father, by your blood. Arise. And bless the works of my hands. And bless the works of my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help me. Help me. In all my endeavors. In all my endeavors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive clarity. I receive clarity. To the wonderful opportunities. To the wonderful opportunities. At my disposal. At my disposal. Father, bless my environment. Father, bless my environment. Let my environment be full of favor. Let my environment be full of favor. Father, open my eyes. Father, open my eyes. To recognize all my untapped potentials. To recognize all my untapped potentials. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I hear the Lord say that those that have been procrastinating to bless you, they have been saying they will bless, they will bless. I will do it, I will do it. They will do it in a hurry now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says the king could not sleep because of Mordecai. And he was in a hurry. Immediately, Mordecai's enemy came into the courtyard. He said, what will we do to this man? Child of God, as I speak right now, there are some people watching me, about 52 of you. Listen to me. They're in a hurry to favor you. Amen. A hurry to favor you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. One more time, say, Father, bless me indeed. Father, bless that me I will indeed. be a blessing to others. That I will, I will be a blessing, blessing to in others. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank, Thank you, Abba Father. Drink of it. Hallelujah. Take a seat, take a seat quickly. Mashete le boko soto ribaha. Manta le prokoto siada baha. Ela bakura basata la baha. Ela bakura namako sata la baha. As you take up this offering, I see the Lord blessing somebody. Blessing you, wearing you the cloak of favor. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know that this is the last midday prayer of the month? Hallelujah. And God keeps the last, the best for last. Somebody is going to have the best. You are gliding into April. Amen. You are entering April with joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This Easter is going to be somebody's best. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They will favor you. Amen. But there's an instruction for somebody. That instruction says, ask, ask. You have been saying, let them notice. And you have been saying, I did not see. Mm -mm. God said, go and ask. It's an instruction. Go and ask. He said, but I've asked before. But this is a divine instruction. Say, go and ask. Yes, go and ask. Uh, because you know when he told when he blessed them with favor he said go and ask the Egyptians child of God it's time for you to go and ask go and ask about that employment when the lady shared a testimony was it this week or so she said something she said we had to go and ask what about the letter that was when they found out that they have been communicating with the wrong candidates it was through there they now said no they now contacted her husband properly child of god go and ask it's an instruction be thinking you no know, because you will go and ask some of you tell your husband to watch this thing let him go and ask go and ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you raise that seed, there are some people who give a special seed. Say, this is for my favor. This is for my favor. Take that seed of 5,000 or 10,000, raise it up to God and say, God, I'm putting a special seed for my favor. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That appointment letter will not
not elude you. Amen. I don't know what I've been talking about that appointment later. Amen. It's an appointment. This one is an appointment. Amen. Another person is a, is a, is, is, is a promotion. Amen. It will not elude you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your favor, the set time to favor you is now. Amen. Oh, somebody did not hear me. I said the set time to favor you. Amen. Hey, your announcement of victory is now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody, God is giving you victory to overcome your enemies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All the weapons that are fashioned against you will backfire. Amen. They will fail by faith. Favor. Amen. By favor. Amen. Favor is making war for somebody. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Favor is taking away the power of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Favor is giving you a victory song. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody will sing the song of victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, I claim it. I claim it. I claim my victory. I claim my victory. By reason of the favor and the By countenance the of God upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will go from favor to favor. I will go, I will go from victory to victory. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will know that you are my God. In the name of Jesus, every stubborn situation is being addressed just by favor. Just by favor. There are 32 sisters that will get married by this prayer. Pray this prayer on and on. You are getting married, whether you are widowed. Yes, yes, yes. Whether you are divorced, God is settling your matter now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. For somebody, the Lord said you will marry early. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. So don't argue. It looks like you will marry at 24, 22. God wants to do it fast for you. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Continue to share the broadcast even as I read your testimonies. Somebody's testimony is ripe. Amen. How many of you remember the day we sang, Finally, finally, finally? The Lord has done it. You know, there's somebody who has been looking for a job for almost three years. And when we sang that song, she danced and danced. And she's in the UK. And wow. God gave her a job that she earns 5,000 pounds a month, a week. It was too good to be true. Somebody finally, finally, that stubborn problem is taken away. In the name of Jesus. All right, let me read this one quickly. It's from our sister from Potakot Town. It says, Good day, Apostle Opie and the Midday Crew. He yeah. said, God is indeed my healer. Last two weeks during the Midday Prayers, Mama Opie said, There's someone who is being healed of a neck pain and, and has refused to testify. Did you, did you hear that? Healed of a neck pain and has refused to testify. Mama, it is me. God, I'm sorry for holding back my testimony. For the past six months, I battled with a severe pain on my neck. It was very bad that I could not sleep. I had to change a lot of pillows, but the pain was still there. Oh, somebody say mercy. The pain was still there. But during one of the midday prayers three weeks ago, Mama prophesied about this case, saying God is healing a neck pain. And I kid into it, Mama, the pain has disappeared. Why are there people with me here? Hallelujah. My husband asked me if the pain had gone because I stopped complaining. I told him the pain is no more, that I am healed totally. Oh, Jesus. She said, Lord, I am grateful for your healing power upon my life. To you be all the glory and honor. God bless you, Apostle Opie, for leading us to pray. Hallelujah. I can't hear your amen. Amen. This one says, good day. Mommy O and the midday crew. Glory. He said, I have come to testify of the goodness of God in my life. In the life of my son, Zeluchuku, Zeluchuku, 
He said, during the 10 days of revival, on Thursday at the midday prayers, we are here again. We are here again. Somebody is about to testify. Mommy O mentioned my son's case of speech delay. Mommy O rebuked it and said, God is restoring the ability to speak on that person right now. I keyed into the prayer with a loud amen. When I got home, I prayed the prayer points all over again with so much vigor and expectation. And today, I have come to testify and say thank you for delivering my son. Zeluchukun can speak now. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy to somebody. Is there any delay in your son? Whether it's delay to go to school, delay to work, delay to have a job, I break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, somebody, that amen is too small. Amen. Zeluchuku, all your delays are broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, for the first testimony, I prophesied that somebody has a healing now. Amen. That healing on your back. Amen. Let it be healed. Amen. That pain on your back, let it be healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pain on your legs, let it be healed. Amen. Pain on your throat. There's somebody in your throat. It has been hurting you for a while. God says, I am healing you now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What a wonderful God. Thank you, Jesus. This one is from Sister P from Port Harcourt again. It's raining miracles in Port Harcourt. Hallelujah. Somebody help me celebrate God. We are waiting for the Abuja Hallelujah. ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, oh my God. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Here I could know the tire Jesus. Good day, my apostle and the midday crew. Glory. He said, Mama, your God is an overdue God. My testimony shocked me. <laughs> it go shock you. On the 9th of January 2024, I submitted my application for Canadian visa. Then on the 19th of January, I was invited for my biometrics. Mama, as a deliberate and intentional woman, I came to Abuja on the 17th of that January to attend midday live. This was during our annual WWF fasting and prayer session. So on Thursday, 18th of January, I participated in the midday prayers, after which I met Apostle and told her that I came to what I came to do in Abuja. And she said a simple but powerful prayer. She said, Go and get your visa. Somebody go and get your visa. Amen. Go and get your appointment letter. Amen. Go and get your promotion letter. Amen. Go and get your good doctor's report. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mama, okay. Say after the word of prayer from Apostle, I went to my hotel. While in the room, my visa agent called to inform me that after biometrics taken, there is a wait of two to three months, so I should pray. I replied to him as that my mama has spoken. My case is different. I carry God's DNA. Oh, I love that. Mama, my visa application was approved in 12 days. Hallelujah. After which I received a mail requesting for submission of my international passport. Just like that. My visa agent was shocked. Ego shocked them. Amen. And he said, this has never happened so quick. There's somebody watching me. It will shock them. Amen. Even the people giving you the thing, it will shock them. Amen. And it will be by favor. Amen. I don't like your amen this afternoon. Amen. She said, Mama, another shocker was that my passport was mailed back to me in seven days. Oh, after submission to the embassy in Abuja. I was duly stamped with multiple visa entry. Thank you, Father Jehovah. Oh, man. Oh, me, ma, oh, I don't know what is it. I cannot thank you enough. My apostle, thank you for answering this call and allowing God to use you as his tool. Mama, may honor, kiss, honor your life. Amen. Amen. 
May heaven back your words with signs and wonders. Amen. You shall not lose your relevance. Amen. Jehovah most wonderful in Jehovah's most in Jesus' most wonderful name. Amen. That they said WWE is a miracle cantonment. Yes, sir. yes, so if you believe it, shout amen. amen. Now there are seven of you here. Just say, I have just received my miracle. I have seven just of you. Received my miracle. Say it well, well. I have just received my miracle. I have just received it. Now, I now. I just received it. I just received it. Now. Just received it. Ah, she said, Apostle Opi, great servant of mercy, please do not drop the plow. Remain strong and vibrant. God will never leave you and your entire family unrewarded. My Potakot pastors, God bless you. Increase the grace upon your head. Hallelujah. Somebody receive your own, receive your visa, receive your, 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 your letter of um, residency. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is from our sister Adeshin Ogbemisola from the flagship center. Hallelujah. I'm happy. She said, good, good day, my lovely mother and the ever consistent midday crew. Yes. She said, my, my daughter has been complaining of stomach ache for over a week and it was unbearable for her. We went to see a doctor in the hospital and a test was done which confirmed ulcer. Imagine a girl that eats well. My daughter was given plenty tablets to drink, but it did not make any meaningful difference in helping stop the pain then i remembered what mama opie tells us during prayers that a situation will arise where you will use a hammer to kill a fly thank god that day was thursday so i quickly came to join midday prayers on site in opik to collect communion and mama said this communion will heal the sick i took it by faith and went home and gave it to my daughter Mama, since last Thursday, when my daughter took that communion, she has perfect peace. Glory. No more pain. Glory. Hallelujah. No more pain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I declare to somebody right now, receive your own healing. Amen. No more pain. Amen. No more symptoms of Amen. cancer. Amen. No more any kind of symptoms. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, this one is from. <laughs> I like. I like this title. <laughs> this one says, Sister Yinka from Flagship, presently living and testifying in America. Hallelujah. God is updating somebody's status. Oh, I don't like this midday crew today. Amen. Amen. Finally. 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 The Lord has done it. Finally. 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 The Lord has done it. Finally. Finally. Jesus has done it. Finally. Finally, finally, my God has done it. Finally, 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 finally. updating somebody's profile. Finally, finally, ah, finally. There's a particular person she's going from Miss to Mrs. Finally, 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 finally. The There's Lord another person going from ordinary finally, Mrs. to honorary. Finally, finally. The Lord has done it. Finally. Okay, there's finally, another person. Finally. I saw her excellency. Finally. Finally, finally. finally the Lord has done it. Finally. 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 Hallelujah. Somebody watching me, your son or your daughter is going from just me to doctor. Finally, 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 the Lord has done it. Finally, you don't pay school fees, pay school fees, time to reach. The Lord has done it. 
finally. Then go say, Mama, finally, finally, Mama lawyer. The Lord has done hey, it. Finally, 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 the Lord has done it. Finally, oh, somebody's not happy with me. Finally, I'm excited. Hey, he has done it. God, yes, don't do it. Let me read this title again. He says, Sis, Sister Yinka from Flagship, presently living and testifying in the America. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen! Oh, he said, Good day, my lovely mama and the midday crew. Hallelujah! Say, I've come to judge God faithful, my heavenly father who does not leave me halfway. I am a faithful midday follower. God must bless you now. I just want to tell everyone when Apostle O says a word, whether you, whether for you or someone else, run with it, for it is done. No contention. I have a whole lot of testimony since we came to the US last year, 2023. My assistant HOD made sure Apostle prayed for my husband and I before the, they left nine before we left Nigeria to America. She said I needed a word to take over the land and to be prosperous. After mama prayed for us with all her heart, she told me while sitting in her car, I will hear your testimonies. Ah, I'm saying it to 32 people today. Hallelujah. Let me make it 37, 37. Hallelujah. I will hear your testimonies. Hey! There's somebody at the back there. God said, I will hear your testimony. You know, there are testimonies and there are testimonies. Yes. There are some that sound boom. There are some that sound pick him. Some pim. Choose the one you want. Hallelujah. She said, now nah, I've come back like one leper in the Bible to thank my Heavenly Father for plenty testimonies since we got to the USA, confirming the word of his servant. Mama, the first testimony is that my children found favor to gain admission into a school, irrespective of their ages. And it was the class I wanted them to start with that was given to us. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Secondly, anyone I meet wants to help us in one way or the other. Whether it's by buying of groceries, you know those things, you take it for granted. Somebody just sees you, wants to help you. Even somebody seeing you, wanting to open the door for you, it's a favor. Don't take it for granted. She says, whether it was, you know, um, um, buying of groceries, helping with required documents, accommodation, etc. It's a whole lot of help I get, Mama. I cannot mention all. Thirdly, my brother-in-law called me and asked me to send my address to send a car. Mama, he sent me the latest Mercedes Benz. Finally, 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 the Lord has done it. Finally, do you know that? Do you know that as I speak now, they're asking for somebody's address now to send you a car. Finally, finally. The Lord has done it. Finally, finally, finally. They are sending you the car that you can you, have, you did not dream of. If you were to buy that car, eh? It will be in 2034. Glory. Glory to Jesus. He said, I love you and I miss seeing your face every Tuesday physically. I love you too. I know you're watching. This is for you, eh? Our sister in flag, she presently living in America. Ah! Uh, by the time you'll be describing yourself, you will add more. Ah! Uh, they are taking somebody's address now to send some things. At least the one I saw now, very clearly. They were sending a boot load of things. Boot. Amen! I saw all manner of groceries, rice, beans, bag, 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 bag. You will eat it in December. Amen. Hey, 
finally, 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 oh, the Lord has finally, 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 hey, finally, finally, no, there's no need, finally, finally, finally. Okay, let me take the last one. Let me take the last one. This is all the way from Lecky. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From our sister Ijoma. Say good afternoon, my wonderful apostle O and the midday crew. So I want to appreciate the great God of WWP that never stop prayers but answers them quickly on the midday altars. I applied for a job, passed the interview and started documentation. Then suddenly, I never heard from the company again. During one midday prayer service, Apostle Opi said, if you have anything you are believing God for, that, seem, that seems that they have refused to get back to you. Wow. Call them now. After these prayers, they will respond. And truly, I did. And they responded. Their response was a complaint about one of my certificates. And no one knew why they kept forgetting to notify me. But I was told that the issue must be resolved before any job offer will be given to me. I contacted my school and I was told it would cost me a huge amount of money and it would take two years to resolve it. I was losing hope until another midday prayer. That midday prayer is today for somebody. Gang, gang, gang. Somebody say gang, gang. The devil will hear me. He said, Apostle Obi was reading testimonies and declaring, saying, The Lord will raise an exceptional voice for you from whom you don't know. And I screamed, Amen, with faith that God will do it. To the glory of God, the HR of the company called me the next week that I got an exceptional approval from the executive director of the company. Oh, if you don't jump, you are a suspect. Those people that are done jumping, people are also scared. Thank you, Jesus. She said, Mama, listen to this one now because it's for somebody here watching me. He said, Mama, that is how I got the job offer. Ma, I don't know the executive director of the company. He does not know me. When we saw in our head office, he did not know me. I was the pe he did not know I was the person he helped. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Apostle Obi. The Lord has done it. Finally, 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 finally the Lord has, has done, done it. it. Finally, 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 fin